Got our first bad popo of the show. It's going to be a long show. We've got our first bad popo here. So here we have, this story comes from the New York Post, from the NYPD uh, officer arrested for the second time in less than a week. So an officer was arrested twice in one week. Tina Moore wrote the article August 3rd. And here's what we've got. A New York PD, NYPD cop was arrested for the second time in less than a week on Monday for stealing model cars, clothes, and hygiene products from a Queens Walgreens just days after he was busted for knifing his former girlfriend, police said. So we have, we have a cop who is on the NYPD who uh, stabs his girlfriend. And then a couple days later, goes and steals cars, model, mo model cars, so not like actual cars, clothes, and hygiene products from a Walgreens. He gets caught twice. He's arrested twice. This cop joined the force in 2015. He's charged with petty larceny and criminal possession of stolen pro property. He was previously arrested uh, Friday for assault of his uh, ex-girlfriend, 23-year-old ex-girlfriend, cop said. Ibram, this is the name of the cop, was honored by the department in 2017 for stopping a man who tried to set a fire at the station, and he has been suspended. Now, what's always interesting about these articles is how difficult it is to actually get them to name to name the cop. Did you, did you notice that? Did you see why I was scrolling up and down there a little while? Where's the name of this cop? Let's take a look. NYPD cop. Who was it? Don't know. Was arrested. Goes on and on. Knifing his former girlfriend. One of the cars he allegedly stole. He, he, the cop. What's his freaking name? We don't get it until the last paragraph of the entire article right here. Ibrahim, who was honored by the department in 2017, has been suspended. Am I missing this? Am I missing this? I, I mean, I printed the article right out. Why Why is the name at the very bottom? Why is the name just one name, Ibrahim? We have no idea who this cop is. No idea what his full name is. No idea what he looks like. It's just an article. You know, this is probably a clickbaity article that says, uh, and, may, and maybe the author doesn't know. The author may not know at all. You know, this may be all the information that they have. But why is this stuff, you know, not more public, not more you know, revealing? Anytime something happens to a to an everyday person like you or me, all of our information is on the internet immediately. You, do you know that? You can go to a mugshot website. You can go to Arizona Mugshots, and you'll see everybody who was arrested and booked into Fourth Avenue Jail. Their picture, their name, uh, the, the charges, everything. It's all there on public display. But when it happens to these cops, they hide it. They want to expose you, but they don't want themselves to be exposed. So they'll they'll tell you everything about you. If I got arrested, my name, full name, uh, my my mugshot, you know, smiling there would be there. I'd have uh, the charges listed there. But here we have Ibrahim. We know a little bit about him because we know that he you know was he was promoted. He uh, uh, you know was arrested. We know some about him. But the problem is when cops are allowed to hide from this stuff, when they're just allowed to skate through without any identifying information, without any way to hold them accountable, this guy was on the force from, two, for, for, from 2015. So he's got, he's got five years of patrolling, of, of enforcing, of probably breaking the law while he's doing it. You know, the fact that he just knifes his girlfriend and, and then a couple days later just goes through Walgreens and starts stealing things, Either this guy has a mental problem, he's got an addiction problem, he may be going through something on his own, you know, uh, that's a separate story. He shouldn't be on the police force, and he shouldn't have been on since 2015. Maybe maybe there's some other indications about this guy being a problem. Do we know what his personnel files say? Do we know, does he have other complaints lodged against him? Does he have any pending cases that are still making their way through the criminal justice system? What if a number of people have been charged with crimes based on this guy's conduct and they don't know who he is or they don't know about this story? What if a friend was just arrested for a DUI by this guy and he's just going to proceed forward with his case because he doesn't know any better. He doesn't know that the cop who stopped him and arrested him was uh, was was just arrested twice in a week, once for stabbing his girlfriend and once for, for robbing a Walgreens. They don't know that. And if the prosecutor's office doesn't tell them and if the judge doesn't tell them, then they're just going to move forward with their case and they're going to plead guilty or the prosecutor might knock a day off of jail. Yeah, we know this cop has some problems, but they're not that big of a deal. We're still going to convict you anyway. Just sign this plea deal and move on with it. 
But if this, if, if we put a bulletin up, or we had a national database, and we said this loser cop was was just in, arrested, indicted, charged with two different crimes. Here's his picture. Here's his badge number. Here's the area where he patrolled. He was doing laps around this part of New York City, you know, and he was just, you know, rounding people up. All of those people would know that their interaction with this guy was really, really bad. And and they could do something about it. But now, because everything's so hidden and swept under the rug and, you know, there's a million bad cops, so this, this, this story is going to get buried tomorrow. They don't know. This is a problem. And this is why we like to call these people out because it's just a, you know, any amount of exposure, anything that we can do to just shine some light on them, I think is what needs to be done. And so, you know, we have a small channel here. Fortunately, I have, you know, some people who are interested in the things that I have to say. I appreciate you being here, but you know, it's, it's important that we call these, these people out because they just get away with it too much. So Ibrahim, whoever that is, uh, you know, obviously you should be ashamed of yourself. He's suspended from the NYPD. Hopefully they fire him. Hopefully he's blacklisted from law enforcement and we never see him with a badge and a gun again. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that one.